there. Mm, there we go. In-game HUD available. You spoil me. Get out, get out of there. Okay. Play Dangarampa clip. Uh, pick a number from one to sixty-five. Ben, thank you so much for resubscribing for 16 months. Goodness gracious. Really appreciate it. Uh, 38. 38 is... <laughs> is Himiko going... Ooh, ah. Let's get that again. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. One second. Sorry about that. Uh, my nephews are over, so my the older one was asking if he could borrow my Switch, <laughs> to which I said, no. <laughs> um, I do not, not letting a seven-year-old child touch my Nintendo Switch. Thank you very much. Um, especially not while I'm streaming. <laughs> so I may get interrupted later. Anyway, hello everybody, how are you doing? Um, we're playing a game today. Actually, I want to show you before we start this. Let's go back to the 3DS screen here. Um, playing a game called Lost Magic, which uh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone talk about it ever. <laughs> it's from 2006. I just want to show you the little cute little um, icon there. <laughs> it's cute. I like it. Anyway, it's an Ubisoft game. Uh, so yeah, this came in 2006, and uh, it, I don't know, it reminds me of a bunch of things. It, it's, it's a very strange, like, specifically made for the, the DS type of game, um, and like the art style reminds me a lot of Nino Kuni. Um, it also has like monster capturing and spells, which is also Nino Kuni, but it has nothing to do with level five or, or any of that. But like, it's like a very Ghibli art style. Hello, how are you doing? Um, and yeah, it's just like, I don't know, it wasn't like the, the most perfect game, but I remember having a ton of fun with it. I don't think I ever beat it, but uh, it, I don't know, it just had like a charm to it. Doing good, good. Um, but yeah, so we're going to, if we go to load screen here, um, you can see I have two files the level 44 one that was played in 2099. I don't know why it's set to that. That was from when I was on my DS. So maybe it just had problems with the battery or something. But yeah, so apparently the last time I played this was, was uh, 78 years in the future. So that's cool. 
Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go back here. This game uh, is pr is played primarily with the touch screen. Like, there's a few button controls, but you're gonna be doing the touch screen a lot. But yeah, we're gonna do a new game. How pathetic. It's got, it, it's like an RPG or something. It's very hard to describe it because I don't really know any other games that are similar to it, you know? To think this is what the creator left to protect the world. Pathetic. No wonder humans are on the verge of being wiped out. And rightly so. <laughs> really bad laugh there. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be taking acting positions immediately. That's enough. Bishop of the White Knight. I will not allow any more of your selfish treachery. You always did make me laugh, Bishop of the White Knight. Even you cannot defeat me alone now that I have obtained four of the wands. Why don't you just run off with your tail between your legs while you still can? Do not underestimate me. I'm the keeper of the wand of light. It is my duty to protect the world and the hopes of its people. I see. So you bring that final hope to a battle you know you can't win. A grand final gesture that gets you off the hook? Ha! <laughs> and you talk about duty. You're simply diverting attention from what you should truly be doing. All under the cover of noble self-sacrifice. This is your best joke yet. Kneel before me. Kneel before Zod. Ugh. Poor, miserable guardian of light. Praise my name. And I shall release you forever from the dreary shackles of the old world order. Never. Also, the touch screen is going to be your main screen, aside from, like, story progress. But anyway, touch the bottom screen to unleash attack magic. You just kind of have to try to direct it. Never taste my magic. Hello, Phantom Gamer. How are you doing? Touch the bottom screen and unleash attack magic. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing really good with our AoE magic here. Yeah, take that. <laughs> As you can see, we're doing really well. W why? Just having those wands allowed her to suppress my power completely? How? Huh, you really don't know much, do you? I'm the keeper of the Wand of Balance. I have the power to quell all other powers. Just what do you plan to do with that power, Diva of the Twilight? What is it you suffer from? What has brought you to such insanity? I think I played this game years ago. I I think I know like a handful of people, an actual handful of people that have, that even know what this game is. I will become a new creator, and then I shall bring a new order to this rotten, festering, filthy world of men. You are so bound up in the old world, I doubt you could ever understand my reasoning. Destruction for the sake of creation. Is that what you think we need? I'm gonna go to sleep. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a good rest. We're in different Gamefly. I don't think I ever used Gamefly. But yeah, this this is the type of game you'd rent, 100%. I don't know who would buy it, Dilby. Sorry, Deep of the Twilight. I can't help you. Not anymore. Which means we have to settle this here and now. See, I, I know that this game is obscure because on a, uh, yeah, I'll take that, super light, still does nothing. On a Proton John Power Trip stream, uh, I wanted to do this, do this as my game, and it wasn't done as backloggery. So if Proton John doesn't have it, <laughs> then who does? Foolish man! Power the creator who died so long ago is now mine. You think you can hurt me? Very well, as a sign of respect to your pitiful self-sacrifice, I'll allow you to aid me as my minion in the creation of my new world. You, a pawn of the old regime, will help me to destroy it and create a new- How delicious! Uh, uh, ow. Isaac! Yeah, this is secretly Golden Sun. 
Isaac, I'm sorry. I can only endorse the light of hope to you. I was thinking, uh, I, I've been thinking of like doing this game as a let's play, but I, aside from the fact that I've never beat it, I don't know if I can make it like that interesting uh, in let's play format. I think it, it's okay for stream format as like a chill thing, but I don't know. You finally accepted your fate now. Hand over your wand. <sighs> what? This wand is a fake. How dare you? But no matter, your final act of defiance has amused me once again. A wand without a sage to protect it will not be hard to find. Your sacrifice has merely delayed the inevitable. Think on that foolish sage of nothingness. <laughs> Chapter 1. Father's Final Message. I think I'm going to turn the game sound up a tiny bit. Might be too much, let's see. Anyway. Da, 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 da. The memory of that day will live with me forever. Ink black clouds blotted out the sky as wave after wave of vile monsters ravaged our quiet town. People were thrown into chaos and panic, running for their lives. Maybe I'll be editing my videos while being here. No worries. Lurking is always welcome. In all the destruction and confusion, I was separated from my mother and father. Overcome with fear, I fled deep into the old forest. I took no belongings, no food or drink. I ran until I could run no more, and finally, exhausted, I collapsed. An old witch who lives in the heart of the forest found and saved me. She nursed me back to health, and once recovered, I became her pupil in the ways of magic. Although she can be a little severe at times, she treats me as her own grandchild. But one day, something happened. I met my father again, out in the forest. I was filled with overwhelming joy at seeing him again, but something was different. Father, what's wrong? Please say something. Is it you? It is you, isn't it? Father? You know, it's a little too loud. Wait! Father, please! Uh, uh, uh. Come on. There we go. Father! But mother- Father, I'm father. We will even get to gameplay at some point. The same dream again. Look at this, still sleeping. Time to leave your car, child. Get that face washed. Yes, ma'am. After breakfast, we'll practice some basic magic again, so don't forget your staff. Hmm. Father, what was it you were trying to say? Hold on a second. Sorry about that, the nephew came back. <laughs> I just need to close my door. Okay, let's try this again.
he said to acquire great magic. Flip a table. What was he tra trying to say? What was it he wanted to say but couldn't? Anyway. Okay, let's start with the basics. Have you got your wand? No. What are you doing, child? <laughs> Hold your wand in your writing hand and use A, B, X, Y, and R with your other hand. See, I have this set to me being a lefty. That's one thing that I... You must play the Sega Saturn. That's one thing that I liked about this game, is that it had a lefty mode. Okay, fine, I'm ready. Yes, ma'am. Movement first. Touch your head and then touch where you want to go. Try opening the chest. Yes, you just click on yourself and click on a thing. Are you left-handed? I am. Just remember, lefties are in their right mind. Good, easy enough, isn't it? Hey, there's nothing inside. Master, that's not fair. You didn't expect to be rewarded for simply walking somewhere, did you? Naive boy. Kind of. Well then, let's practice some magic next. Hold down R and the rune drawing screen will appear. Try it. Go on. Press R. So I'm gonna lower this a tiny bit. Okay. Okay, so you hold R and then the screen appears here, right? Eh? This is the basics of it all. If when you want to use magic, use R. It is through runes that mages call upon the power of mana. Keep holding down R until you finish drawing the rune, then release it. Drawing an accurate rune while holding down R is the key to successful magic. Ricky Ricardo's best song, Tapioca. The neater and more accurate your rune is, the stronger your magic will be, but... Take too long drawing a rune and you'll give monsters time to attack. Yeah. We got that. No problem. Good, good. Try then. Hold down R and copy the fire rune from the top screen. Release R to finish. Also, the worse you draw the rune, the less damage it does. You ever watch Who's Line? Yeah. I haven't watched it in a very, very long time, but I used to watch it a ton. Aw, good times. Once you have drawn your rune accurately enough, it's time to unleash some magic. Touch the place where you'd like to unleash your magic. Cool, a fireball! Good work, well done! Now how about trying that in battle? Got some monster dummies here for you to practice on. Defeat them with your magic. Use the map, yeah. Okay, so use the face buttons. Fireballs, yup! use the face buttons to scroll the the map and you have to click yourself to keep moving so sometimes you have to uh try to guess where an enemy is gonna be if it's a moving enemy and uh as you saw with the first enemy sometimes the fire lights the enemies on fire and also you get a, a sound cue if you do a spell better maybe I didn't play this it looks like a bunch of other games very well Isaac let's practice some other magic this is a water rune allows you to freeze enemies in shards of ice this is a light rune use this magic to heal your injuries Using a lot of magic in quick succession may cause your MP to run out. If that happens, calm down for a moment and take a break. You'll find that latent mana power in the air will replenish your power. Must have been a different RPG I played on the DS. It's entirely possible. There was an Inukuni game on the DS. Anyway, let's... I mean, not that it came out in the US, but still. Any, uh... Yeah, so the... Some of them are... Oh, let's get out of here while they kill me. Okay, 
Let's get you out of there. You can like shove enemies out of the way, which is nice. Um, the uh, the light thing heals you, which is good. There we go. But yeah, the majority of the game. Brave Sir Dovi ran away. Uh, the majority of the game is um, learning how to draw correctly. I didn't. Bravely ran away, away. Brave, 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 brave Sir Dovi. Very well, I think that's enough for today, child. These three basic rules I taught you are vital to all magic. Practice it. How boring. I wanted to go play in the forest. That's enough of that! Am I not telling you every single day that nothing is more important than the basics? I'm sorry, I know, ma'am. I've told you about that too. It's master... It's master during lessons. Not... Oh, I'm sorry, it's master during lessons. Not, not ma'am. Yeah, I remember, master. I'm sorry. My, my, you are too much for my old bones. Oh, bless me. I almost forgot. The head of Tom to Villa said a request from some healish. Could you run it over there? Sure. No problem. Tom is to the west, remember. Don't go getting lost in the forest. Go straight there and come straight back, you hear me? Now, I'm pretty sure... You can play in the forest as a black knight. <laughs> uh, good times. Who would like to pass? None shall pass. Anyway, uh... I have it in the back of my head that you can actually have a bad ending to this game, but I don't remember if that's just a plot thing in the middle, or that you can actually, like, be evil. But anyway, watch your choices, I guess. Yes, ma'am, see you later. Anyway, uh, let's go to menu. So, as you can see, there's not a lot of options, but we do have our lineup here, which includes nobody because we haven't caught any units yet. Uh, our spellbook is our spellbook, and we have a save and load. I'm just gonna save over the, uh, this up over here. Anyway, let's get our first mission. Probably. Whoa, is that thunder? Quick, Paracara, let's go. Also, yeah, we have this little bird. I'm see European solo character. It can grip it by the husk. What? The sound of magic lightning? No one could be using magic so high up, Paracaro. It can be so odd sometimes. Hey, no need to get upset. Oh. Oh, an orc is what are monsters doing here? Paracaro, get to my bed. Quickly hide. I think my magic is enough to deal with mere Orcus. Rude to the Orcuses. So we get the uh, like the, the capture magic later. What is it now, Barakaro? I was just about to start fighting. What? Check my status. I know how to do that. Just touch my own head, right? The blue bar on the top left is HP. If that runs out, I'll weaken and lose the battle. The yellow bar is MP. If that runs out, I won't be able to use magic, but resting recovers it. Really? Touching enemies in the same way will show me their set is too? Interesting, I'll give it a try. Thanks. Right then, Paracure, our first real battle. Let's go. Okay. So yeah, we got monsters here. The workuses really aren't a problem. Uh, just be aware that your... Um, magic sometimes has a range. Also, when you tell your character to go somewhere, he takes a direct line, which isn't always the smart thing. The, A the AI can be really, really wonky is what I'm trying to say. And uh, it's really nice that you can restore MP by waiting around, but uh, it could be very unforgiving uh, later in the game when you are just being pursued. 
That shouldn't have been a good one. Is it time limit? Yes. That's another thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a, there is a time limit. Aha. Uh -huh. Really? Come on, come on, come on, magic. I'm being beaten up by a mushroom. We defeated enemies and we level up. Also, using magic uh, gives you affinity for it. So, in order to level up your magic, you're going to have to use it more. So, it's, you know, like a Final Fantasy II type of system, I guess. Ha, huh, take that! Still, it's strange to encounter monsters here. In fact, it's the first time I've ever seen them this deep in the forest. Hey! The thunder seems to have stopped too. Guess I was just imagining it. What would forest? Shafts of sunlight beam through the trees. Yeah, so down here is more of the forest, and this is the windmill plains. But we have to get ourselves over to the village, so. Things only happen on the screen spaces that have like a little, a little uh, icon. At last, I made it. Chief, are you home? Hello? Who's there? Oh, Chief. Uh, um, oh, hello, Isaac. Good to see you. Hello. Grandma told me to bring this healer to you. Thanks. I know I've asked a lot of Grandma, but thanks to her heal magic healer, my little Natsu is almost fully recovered. When she was infected by the monster poison, I prepared myself for the worst. I can't thank you and your Grandma enough for this. No problem. Uh, grandma always makes delicious stew from the game you gave us. Without your hunting skills, we'd be eating roots and leaves every day. Don't worry, it all balances out. <laughs> you got your head uh, screwed on right, young man. Perhaps we have your grandmother think for that too? <laughs> well, I guess so. She knows her stuff, but she is pretty strict. Can't afford slack off on someone who can actually make lightning strike. This is the part where you need to find the Triforce of Courage in order to defeat Sephiroth in the Twilight Realm. That's the best part. <laughs> That hurts my head to read. <laughs> no, and I must be patient. I need to become strong enough to go in search of my parents. Of course, that's right. I hope you'll be able to find them uh, soon, Isaac. Uh, who's there? Boss, we got trouble! What's the matter, man? Take a deep breath. Calm down. Monsters, we've been attacked again! The timber company has lost some more men! Curse those wild beasts! We'll never get to the ro get the road restored if they carry on like this. It's hopeless. This sounds like a job for me. Magic is the best weapon to defeat monsters, after all. Isaac, wait. Uh, be careful, you hear? I'll be right there with as many men as I can find. Well, only got another mission now. So this is like this overarching plot of, of that lady trying to take over the world or something um, but uh, you know there's like a lot of like little things here and there and you, you kind of go everywhere it really is a neat game once you uh, once you get into it like I said there's there's a monster catching mechanic that we haven't uh, gotten to yet that's uh, actually pretty fun. You can get some really good monsters anyway. I don't know if your MP restores faster when you're standing still, but it, I feel like it should. Yeah, oh come on. That was a really good shot too. That's not gonna make it.
Okay. Oh, hello. Person with staff. Clap, clap, clap. Impressive! You've got some real skills there, boy! You must have quite a master. Who's there? <laughs> Do excuse me, my name is Leonard. I'm a student of magic just like you. Leonard? You're a mage? That's right. You have potential. Instinct. If you train well, I can see you'll be a powerful mage. Really? Of course. But when battling monsters, magic will only help you so much. It's not without limits. Magic has limits? You haven't felt them yet? Think, mages are only human. You might be able to withstand a hit from an orcus, but anything bigger will cut you in half. No matter how much you practice, the wings of a dragon will still tear you apart, right? <laughs> Bad vibes on this guy. Yeah, I mean, it's probably the red eyes. Well, you're right, but I don't like how that sounds. Fear not, for you can turn the power of monsters to your own advantage. After all, monsters were created by humans in the first place. What? Humans create monsters? Well, you don't need to hear about that right now. Now then, just follow my lead. Okay. Oh, before I forget, first, uh, let me give you this rune. What a power of great skull. It's a dark rune. It has the power to capture monsters. Weakening a monster first makes it easier to capture. Now draw the rune and capture a monster. Okay, so you kind of have to like... There we go. That's it, very good! Once you have captured some monsters, you can use them to form your party. Am I on Metallion of Monsters? That's right. You can use the lineup screen to line up monsters up to your unit point limit. As your level increases, so too will your UP, allowing you to deploy a stronger force. Understand? Sure. Yeah, I get it. Stronger monsters require more unit points, so line them up carefully. I'm sure you're up to the task anyway. Now then, I'll show you how to command your monsters in battle. Yay. It's nice of this mage to just come by and teach me about monster capturing. Now you've captured some monsters, let's try commanding them to help you out. Place monster reborn. I guess, but if I've got powerful magic of my own, I won't need monsters to help out, will I? You're quite the bold one now, aren't you? But you're wrong. Monsters are vital for protection and for inflicting more damage in battle. You're still not quite con you're still not quite convincing me. Then try it out and see for yourself. You'll come around. First, touch that monster in front of you, then get it to open that chest over there. Open the chest! Yay! There you go, easy enough, huh? You can also tell a group of monsters what to do with one simple command. You could use the stylus to draw circles on the ground around a group of monsters, yeah. So you can command monsters. Got that, what's next? Now you can tell those monsters to do it once. Yeah, so you can um, click around your your monster units and tell them to, to go do something, which is super nice. Yeah, it, it, it's a, uh, it's part RTS because of this. And, uh... It just makes it... It's like... I, it's like the game doesn't really know what it wants to be. But that makes it unique, you know? Where did the other one go? Oh, there it is. Jimmy, hello, hello. We're playing a, we're playing a video game. We're playing Lost Magic. We're learning how to command monsters in tactical fashion. Hope you're doing well. But that was the last of them. For the looks of things, finish the job. If one of your monsters will be defeated, we'll return to your wand. You can call it out again in the next battle, sure, but the current battle will be tougher. You can equip monsters with items to cover their weaknesses. Try to keep them alive. 
You think you can handle it all? Yeah, why not? Go on then. Protect the village. We can have our monsters do stuff, and it's good to have your monsters do things, because I believe it levels them up. But also, like, you should burn enemies. Just keep an eye on the, uh, the upper screen, so that uh, you'll be able to uh, command your monsters... Command your monsters while, uh, while you're doing stuff. Also, you know, you can obviously heal your, your monsters as well. And that's probably the best way to get used to, um, your magic. It's just by using it on them, you know? We leveled up, yay! Survival, 100%! Okay, our fire leveled up a little bit, which is good. I actually saw a demo for this at a Target when I was little. My small brain couldn't figure it out what to do, so I never got it. I have, honestly, I have no idea where I saw this. I probably saw this in a Nintendo Power. Because that's where I got most of my obscure game, uh, like, ideas from. And then I picked it up and I played it a whole bunch and no one I, I've ever met, like, really ever played this. <laughs> so it just kind of dropped off. But anyway, we got a life bracelet. Bracelet said to have been worn by a four-horned albino dog. It raises max HP. I just like it because it... It's cute and tiny. It has monster catching. It has a, a cute art style um, the music is pretty good and it actually uses the touch screen you know who finally saw them off Go! I thought I was in real trouble for a moment there but thanks to you huh he's gone Leonard I guess he likes his privacy Isaac are you okay yeah no problem just like I said I saw the monsters off Wow, amazing, but then your grandma is your biggest influence, so it's no surprise. That's right. Still, the roads heading north and west has been badly damaged by monster attacks, and they continue to prevent us from making any progress. We've barely made any repairs yet. Here's hoping things will improve from here, although I fear it'll only get worse. Uh. Well, I guess we move onward. Hey, what's that? Something is falling from the sky. Ah! Ow! Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I really hurt. You're too heavy. Get off me. Hey, I'm not that heavy. You know, you shouldn't make fun of the sage of the... Of, well, anyway, no matter. In fact, I'm glad I bumped into you. Would you lend me that wand? What? No. No, sorry, I can't lend you this wand. I got it from my father. It's very important to me. My master is always telling me a wand that a wand gives a mage life. Huh? Not very charitable, are you? It looks like we've got company, too. Uh, monsters? Ah, uh, don't worry. Leave them to me. You? Are you sure about this? Well, actually, I'm not that confident. I'll give you this rune just to be safe. Wind? Yay! It's a wind rune. With this, you can fire wind magic at great distances. Try not to get hurt badly. Magical star sign. That was... Ah, uh, okay. Okay, well now we got new uh, magic. Uh, the wind rune is pretty is pretty nice, and I like the, the upgrades that you get later. Anyway, we got our monsters here. Uh, when you see new monsters... Um you can uh, try to catch them, but I don't think it makes sense to, uh... Come on. I don't think it makes sense to, um... To... Uh-oh. 
Okay, so one of my guys is dead already. <laughs> what was I saying? It doesn't make sense to... Capture new ones. I think is what I was trying to say. Also, the AI for your monsters can sometimes be super, super stupid. Like, they'll just not team up on, against enemies. So you sometimes just have to direct them against their their better their own better judgment. Anyway, let's just heal these guys up a bit more while these enemies come for us. I don't like that one that's just sneaking up behind us there. Where does he think he's going? Oh, he's going for the treasure! No! Oh, I didn't even see that there. Oh, you jerk. Oh, you jerk. Oh. I should have sent one to get it. Oh, well. That's why it's important to look around the map. Anyway, we all leveled up, so yay. Also, you can see that uh, we have a lineup of like three slots for monsters, but that one slot that the Orcus takes up is three monsters. So depending on the type of monster you get, uh, you can have some really nice armies going around. All right, victory! Kew kew! Well, you certainly surprised me. You're pretty strong. Well, I guess. By the way, yeah. What's with that wand? What? The wand. Didn't you want mine a minute ago? What? Oh, this cheap thing? Uh, no one could fight with this. Of course, I'm getting cold now. Never gonna beat it because at one point I was gonna get wrecked. That's kind of how this game was for me. Oh. Your wand is pretty powerful, though, isn't it? And your magic is pretty powerful, too, for a child. A child? You must have a pretty amazing master. Who teaches you? My grandma teaches me. I live with her in the forest up ahead. Could it be the Sage of the Wetwood Forest? The Sage? Anyway, I'm Trista. I'm learning magic, too. Do you think you can take me to meet your grandma? Uh, sure. Why not? It's a little far. To be sure to stay close and not get lost, okay? Wait a moment, okay? Uh, how inconvenient not being able to fly. Man, don't I know it. Anyway, we head back over here. Hey, Isaac. Hello, Natsu. You're so cool, Isaac. When I grow up, I want to be a mage, just like you. What would you use your powers for, Natsu? Let me think. I know. I want to help out my daddy. I'm sure you'd be very happy. I'm sure you'd be very happy if you did. Yeah. Cute. Okay, let's save. Um, from what I remember, also saving is really important. I'm pretty sure that the um, that the game over. If you get a game over, it, it reverts to a save as opposed to the beginning of a level. But I'm I'm not 100% sure on that. Anyway, in the next battle, if they're just Orcuses again, let's see if we if we uh, can just catch another team. I'm home. There you are, child. Thank you for doing that for me. Oh, and who is your new friend? I'm Trista. I was attacked by monsters. Isaac saved me. Really? Isaac? Yeah, without him, I don't know what might have happened. I just wish you'd been there to see me fight, Master. You'd have been proud. Now, don't get full of yourself. Surely it's just common sense to help those in need. Now then, I have another errand for you. I'll be needing some tea for our guests, so could you run to the East Spring for water? Sure. Okay, I'll be back soon. Your grandson, he has powerful magic, doesn't he? Grandson, yes, well, something like that. He's still so young. 
But his capacity for magic at such a young age is really something special. You didn't come here to talk about him now, did you? Daughter of the Wind. So you did recognize me. I expect no less from those former Sage of Luck. Ah, stop that! Like you said, girl, former. Now I'm just a pile of worn out, worthless old bones. No, quite a few of those seals have been broken, haven't they? That's why all the monsters are free now, is it the Deep of the Twilight's doing? It is the Keeper of the Wand of Balance. She has gone insane, stealing wands from the other sages. She wants to become the new creator. Well, they say the wands were a result of the creator dividing up his powers. Which, does she really think such power could be drawn out again so easily? I know it's hard to believe, but my wand of wind was stolen. The Deep of the Twilight had no problem quickly taking its wind mana. I see. Which brings us to that boy's wand. Could it be? That's right. The wand of a sage. The sage of light. His father entrusted it to him. Then he's the son of the Bishop of the White Knight? Correct. The son of the Sage of Light. I fear that Russell has passed a cruel fate on to the boy. Because with that wand alone, he carries the weight of our world, our hope, on his shoulders. He said that he was entrusted with the staff? Does that mean that the Bishop of the White Knight... We can only presume the worst. We must assume he succumbed to the power of the Diva of Twilight's magic. Oh. The Bishop of the White Knight. I thought of him as our last hope. Indeed, only Russell could have stood up to the Diva of the Twilight. What a crisis! I would like to lead Isaac myself given the chance, but I'm afraid we have run out of time. Huh? Uh-oh. I've come for the Wand of Light. The Diva of the Twilight? What are you doing here? Huh, naive little girl. Did you really think you could escape from me so easily? I see all. Oh no. That's really convenient timing, lady. Oh, well. Let's see, we could get water or we could return home. Let's go get some water. Ah, she really does treat me like a slave sometimes, doesn't she, Pirate Karu? Hikaru? She could just send one of her magic puppets to fetch some water. But this training too, so she says, has nothing to do with magic though. Well, I better just fetch some water and get back. Huh? The fish are all dead? I can't feel them on the water. I usually feel such a potent force here. Okay, get going. Thanks very much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good evening. Hikaru! Monster is here too? Looks like another fight. You ready, Paracaro? Okay. So what do we got here? We got ice. Oh no, I'm in a hurry. Well, but why must we run to monsters now? Huh? Right, the rune I saw in my father's book that time. I know I copied it down somewhere. Oh hey, that's an earth rune. I might be able to hold uh, back the monsters using that. After drawing the rune, that's right, uh, draw a line to make a wall appear. Right, I'll use this magic to obstruct the monsters while I hurry back to my master. So the thing up there is like a monster spawner, which is just, it's just a, it's just a fun time. But uh, yeah, we gotta we gotta get out of here. Uh, the the Earth magic is on like a little timer. So I think we have to get past those guys up there. But I'm not sure. as fast as you can. Buddy. So, uh, yeah, these things are, could be very annoying. But we might be able to take them. As long as we keep the other enemies away from us. Uh, 
Uh, I think these are electric enemies. Caught one of them, so we'll be able to use it later. Let's just wait for the other one to, to come back here. No, kaboom! So we should be able to leave at this point. Unless we get surprised. I guess we could have melted our way through over here. But where's the fun in that? I actually probably should try to catch one of those guys at some point because they're a really good enemy to have. They, uh, they're a little uh, light on defense, I think. But from what I remember, they have uh, they have pretty good attack. Anyway, this is an Undyne. Elemental born of water mana can hide in water. Uh, decent HP. More attacking than defense. But yeah, we'll add it to our unit list. Hmm, something isn't right. I've never seen monsters here before, ever. Never heard of such a thing. All I could do is get back to Grandma and, I suppose, and tell Grandma, I suppose. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen, right? Uh, let's equip... Let's equip the, the, uh, the boots on our Orcuses. The Gale Shoes. Oh, we don't have enough uh, for that. That stinks. Okay. When we level up again, we should get more uh, points. More unit points. Master! Master! Kiru! Even here there are monsters? Kiru! You're right. Let's just smash our way through. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, we're surrounded. Fun. Okay, good. So, yeah, let's move ourselves up over here. And... Just close off some of them at the very least. And not let our guy die, hopefully. Okay, that one's gonna die. A little, a little unfortunate. Yeah, sometimes if you're, if the enemy's too strong, the the books will just not do anything. Okay. It might have been a treasure in this stage. I'm not sure. But we leveled up, so yay. Something's wrong. The forest is trembling with fear. All the animals are hiding. Uh-oh. Ah! What? No! Grandma! Grandma! I know the Wand of Light is here, Crone of the Forest. Give it up quietly and I may leave your pretty house standing. I'll never hand over the wand to you. Poor girl, power so great is beyond your control. It'll never bring you happiness. 
quiet. The only thing I want to hear from those withered lips is where to find the wand. Grandma, Grandma! I, I say, get away from here! <laughs> so this cup is the legacy of the Bishop of the White Knight. Daughter of the Wind, I'll buy you some time. Take Isaac and go. No, you don't stand a chance alone. And without the wind, wind wand, you cannot aid me. Now flee, young sage. Keep the flame of hope for tomorrow alive. I understand. Your bravery will be remembered. How noble. Do you really think I just let them go? You'll not get past me that easily, even if my old body expires here containing you. A thousand curses upon you! Ten thousand, stand aside! Grandma! Just who are you? Love the games that depict grandmas, yeah. <laughs> we'll talk later. Now just close your eyes, I've never flown without my wand before. Flown? Chapter 2, Shadow Across a Broken World. Oh, my head is spinning. Where are we? No, no, Grandma. I'm sorry, I didn't have any choice. What happened to her? Why was she fighting? Who was the other woman anyway? Oh, I'm so sorry. If only I were stronger. Aren't you listening to me? I don't care about that. We gotta go back and help Grandma. No! Huh? Think for a moment. At what cost did your master allow us to escape? She has placed all her hope in you and that in your wand. For that, she gave her life. Gave her life? No! What are you talking about? I don't understand what any of this means. Why does everyone I love always leave me? Why? Oh, Isaac. I know this is hard for you. But you need to know what is happening in the world, and your role in it. Uh, for centuries, the world has been protected by seven sages. Each sage possesses a powerful wand. But one of the sages started to perceive the deeds of man as foolish and wanton. Her name is Seneca Windell, the most beautiful sage, also known as the Diva of the Twilight. So she was the one my grandma was fighting? That's right, she wants to gather together the seven wands left by the creator. Using their power, she'll turn herself into the new creator and then remodel the world. That's insane! Sage or not, how could she, how, is she still just a mortal? How could she hope to become a new creator? You're right, of course. It's very sad. But this is the reality. She has already obtained at least five of the wands. If your wand of light were to fall into her hands too, all might be lost. The wand of light? What? You mean my wand? Yeah, the wand entrusted to you by your father. Or should I say, the Keeper of the Wand of Light, the Bishop of the White Knight. My father is a sage? Not only that, the Bishop of the White Knight is the head of the sages. The position is closely guarded secret, of course, even from family. The threat of others trying to take advantage of the sage's power is just too great. That's not enough. That's enough. I don't want to hear any more. What's all this suddenly doing an exposition dump? This is too much. Isaac! Isaac! It's a good thing we only got teleported like a few, you know, a little bit away from where we were. That's odd, I can't gather any mana? The mana of the forest has been defiled by the monsters. Defiled? It's unclean. The power of the mana crystallizes into mana crystals. Mana crystals add to magician's might, but they can be weakened by the force of a monster's hatred. You can make hate-ridden crystal pure again with your wand. I see, so with a sage's wand... Yes, it's possible to turn them to normal. Also, some of your companion monsters may have the ability to purify crystals. You'll have to make use of them to get harder to reach your distant crystals. There is a mana crystal nearby. Try purifying it.
Ta -da! As you can see, a purified mana crystal shines a uh, beautiful blue. The more crystals you purify, the more mana you can collect, the more magic you can use. Also, standing close to a pure mana crystal will slowly restore your HP. Wow, pretty handy things then. Indeed, but watch out, an impure crystal will heal enemy HP. There's something else too. You've seen those floating magic like symbols, right? The ones enemies keep coming out of? That's right, they're called Outer Zodes. They're said to be a hole into the monster realm. The monster realm itself? The Diva of the Twilight has destroyed the Sage's seals, allowing the Outer Zones to appear. Can we do anything about them? Standing on top of them will close them for a while. But the only way to get rid of them altogether is to stop the Diva of the Twilight. Tristan. Anyway, so yeah, this is a new mechanic for the these uh, boards now. Dang it. Oh, that's that. Uh, that's uh, your attacks, uh, or your magic won't, uh... oh, you jerk. Your, your magic won't, uh, won't restore until you start uh, gathering these uh, mana crystals and things. Um, so the more that you uh, purify in a stage, the better everything is. And let's also try to... I think, I think the enemies don't uh, spawn if you leave someone on the stage, uh, on the, on the spawner. But like over here, I don't think it's necessary. Well, it might be necessary because we, we need, uh, we need that crystal to stay purified. So yeah, it starts becoming a, a team management uh, thing as well. Again, this this game, uh, like a lot of the time, I, I don't know if this game knew exactly what it wanted. It just threw a whole lot of mechanics out. Which isn't like the worst thing, but like... It's just interesting sometimes. Buddy, come here, come here, come here. There we go. Just wanted to capture that one guy. Come on. I do hate how the AI gets caught on corners though, like a little frustrating sometimes. There's a, there's a bunch of parts of this game that are that get to be more than a little frustrating. I will not say that it's a perfect game. It's weird that like Nintendo Power I got like an 8 out of 10 and most of the other places got like a much worse like a 6 or so. our uh, wind magic a little to start leveling it up. The best thing about the wind magic is just that it has it has that range. Also, as you can see, uh, I'm really running out of time. I only have <laughs> I only have a minute 20 left. Um, so that's obviously another another thing with this game is that you really you really need to keep an eye on that clock. Oh boy.
I'm just gonna walk over here if you don't mind. Oh, they killed one of my guys. Shoot. Run away. Okay, we did it. <laughs> 45 seconds to go. We did, we're fine. It was fine. Let's see if I can add the other guys to my team now. Uh, we caught a purple cap. Seed throwing sprite wearing a cap dyed with grape juice. Uh, I don't really like them. We're gonna add it to our list because we don't have one, but I, I'm, I don't see myself wanting to use it if we don't have to. They're just very weak. Uh, we have enough to put some undines in though. It's good to have uh, enemies with element sometimes. Okay. Hey, we're back at the house. Hmm. This is where your house was? How terrible. There's nothing left. Thanks! Grandma. Pokemon Spotlight Hour. We can't stay here. We need to meet with the other sages. Trying to fight now would be like simply handing the Wand of Light over. What is it? You see Shellos in the spotlight. Wow. Isaac, I know you have just lost someone close to you, but... Okay, let's do this. No, I'm okay, let's go. Isaac, with or without their wands, the other sages are sure to have good advice for us. You're right. I've heard that the Keeper of the uh, Wand of Water lives to the east of Wetwood Forest. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the village here. See if they have anything to tell us. Hey, Isaac, what's up? Ask about the repairs. Much better things to you. It's an example for all of us. The men are working harder than ever. It's all down to you. No problem. The road will be finished soon. Then you can go looking for your folks, right? That's right. Just hang in there. Okay. Just completely forgetting all the stuff that happened. 30 months and you still forgot. 30 months and I still forgot. Thank you very much for 30 months. Subscribing to 30 months. I really appreciate that, John. We're playing Lost Magic, a DS game no one's ever heard of. Ah. Ah. Uh huh. Get away from me! Huh? You're one feisty brat. What? What do you want? Just hand over your money, kid, and I'll let you go. Can't say the same for the girl, though. And then don't try anything funny. You're in the presence of the invisible, br invincible brigand wizard. Brigand wizard? You're nothing more than a thief. And you, kid, have got a big mouth. No one's gonna save you even if you buy some time, you know. Since all the monsters showed up, the Kingdom Knights and even the Vigilantes have vanished. These days, raw power is enough to get what you want and it suits me fine. <sighs> People like you. What? If you got something to say, at least speak up. People like you are the reason the world has changed so much. Ugh, Karasus, who would have thought that Brat could use magic? People like you are the problem. Uh, people like you are the problem. You're the ones who messed up the whole world. Jeez. Okay. Anyway, we gotta defeat the evil mage here. Uh, you go up that way. You guys go down that way and purify that crystal. Um, let's, uh... Yeah, you guys, uh... Kill that guy. Good, good. The 
problem, well, the problem with the the earth magic is that like it's not that much you really have a use for like with it you know you go up there you get that treasure the rest of us were going down here ow god that did a lot of damage Oh my god! This man has murdered my entire party. Let's... Can I just attack you? Long distance? I can. It's a good thing this guy's just staying in the corner. Enjoy your, your subpar movies, John. Thank you very much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Man. Wait, where's my... Oh, my other guy's over here. Hey, buddy. You want to come join us over here? This is a little sad. Of course he can heal himself. <laughs> well, we're gonna be leveling up our uh, wind magic a lot. Yikes. that fully eliminates wind resistance, allowing fast attacks. Isaac? Mm. Isaac, hello, are you okay? Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm fine. I was just thinking, the world's in chaos. Many people are suffering or in pain. But sometimes some, like that guy just now, prefer the, wor prefer the world like this. I know, I know now how I should be using my powers. Isaac. Grandma, no, Master, she taught me well. The mage's power should be used to help those who cannot use magic themselves. One must never be overcome by that power. Never use it to hurt others. Very altruistic, altruistic of you, buddy. This is the duty of all mages, the correct way to use their gifts from the Creator. I think that now, finally, I truly understand Master. Your grandma sounds like she was very wise. And looking at you now, I think I can see why your father entrusted you with the wand. Well then, let's start meeting the sages. Can't spend the rest of the day just standing around here. A world order preferred by thieves and robbers can't be right. Of course it can. Let's go get. Let's go then. That's very, very upbeat of you. Okay, so let's see if we can get some of those, uh, those other guys. This is the Silver Peak Gorge, a sacred place of water where the master of the Curtain Mist lives. I better warn you, he's said to be a pretty eccentric old fellow. Oh, you know him? Yeah, we met once before. I see. The monsters who live here can be tricky. Water magic won't work on most of them. In fact, water magic may actually heal some of them. I better be a, a better off. I'd be better off relying on fire magic, I think. Huh? The water mana here is very weak. Can't be good. When I drew water from here recently, I saw a lot of dead fish. And I'm sure the water level's lower today than it was then. It sounds like something is going on at the peak. Probably nothing good. Isaac, let's get a move on. Alright. So, let's see. There's two ways to get there. Sometimes you have like these branching paths here. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do both, but it's probably good for experience because your monsters do revive after each battle, you know? Uh, 
Let's all go there. You are going to turn this crystal back on. I could probably attack this guy from, from the other side of this, actually. Might be a good idea. Dang it. You come back here. Aha! May as well just get them out of the way. <laughs> come on. It's that it's that getting stuck on corners, that's that's just the killer. Yeah, the enemies here are going to be weak to fire. Come on, oh. Dang it. Kinda wanted to, uh... catch them. I remember having one of these guys in my party for like ever. Let's just wait for him to get knocked down a little bit. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Uh, so we've got, got another... Another mana crystal up there. Come on, really. Uh, we'll have you stand on that and see if that attracts the attention of the enemies there. It does not. Beat him up. Come on. Sometimes, sometimes this game. Uh, yeah, let's let's march across over here. You can come join us as well. that crystal while you open up the way here and let's see what we got down here uh, okay so we got new enemies over here Just all scooch into this area. Use up all our fire magic. Just sneak up behind these octopus things. Are 
are you? That's not what I want to do. Uh, it's not what I want to do either, actually. Let's heal that guy before he dies. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Here are you. Launch a foible. Okay, so these guys are coming from a from a spawner. So I'm gonna send someone to just stand on it. Somehow, okay, I was, I was about to jinx it. I was gonna say, somehow no one in our party actually died. That's actually amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fire and, uh, fire and, and light got, uh, got a nice bit of, uh, bit of an upgrade there, I would say. Uh, but anyway, we got the death fish. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it's four. Uh, the Hydra is five, jeez. But it's also 1800 health, and there's only two of them. Whew. You become quite proficient at handling monsters. Oh no. Hey, Leonard, never got a chance to thank you. Here's your chance now, for we meet again. You've come a long way in a very short time. Well done. You know this guy? Well, kinda. He's the mage who taught me how to use monsters. I see, so he must know his stuff. But where are my manners? I've yet to introduce myself to you, my lady. My name is Leonard. I'm nothing more than a simple wandering mage. But if I may ever be of assistance, beautiful lady... Me? Beautiful? Oh my! Well, yes, that would be quite something. Trista, what's wrong? Your face is all red. Are you sick? Shut up! Ow! I'm glad to see you've made a new friend anyway. Now let me lecture you a little more. There are many different types of monsters. Some start weak and grow strong, others may start strong, but then never really develop. Consider each monster's abilities and capacity for magic before choosing your allies. And finally, no matter what kind of anguish your face, you face, never, ever lose hope. Huzzah! I won't. Thanks for the advice. Oh good, it's gonna rain. Thanks, Thunder. Leonard, what a wonderful name. Ah. <sighs> Oh boy, Trista. Oh boy. Some girls just always fall for the bad boys. Uh, okay. So. Uh, let's take a look at our lineup now. So we have... We have five points total. So I could get rid of our Orcuses and Undines to put in our... Um, to put in our Hydra. But I don't think that's a good idea, even though the Hydra is super, super strong, as you can see here. Um, it's, uh... I don't know. It's not, not my, not what I would say is my favorite choice. Uh, the Deathfish, however, uh, I would say is a great choice. Uh, even though now we'll only have one team in our party, uh, these guys these guys are very hardy. But anyway, let's head to the the peak. Old master, are you here? Old master, deathfish. That's right. Something is definitely wrong. He's said to live right around here, huh? Who dares defile my holy sanctuary? Old master. Oh boy. Oh, he's tall. Whoa, he's huge! Huh? Ah! 
I tried to warn you, they'll teach you to be rude. No, something's really wrong here. Cut that out. Master of the Curse. So you're the ones attempting to thwart the Diva of the Twilight's plans, are you? Hand over the Wand of Light. He's being controlled. I've no choice but to fight. That's right. There's, there's you know, two rhymes there. Anyway. Oh, so this is going to be fun. We have ten minutes. Now you may be saying to yourself, Dovi, why would you go into this with the... Uh, with just one team and you know what that's a great question especially since I'm probably gonna want to put one of the guys on the spawner over here but uh, yeah oh he's healing them oh what a jerk Okay, you are gonna go in the spawner here, and I'll I'll advance with the rest of my party. Uh, I probably should purify some of these crystals also, but I want to try to get the uh, the stuff up here first. What is in? Uh, sneaky. Let's move you out of the way. Let's see if I can get a good angle. I can't. Probably not the best idea. Uh, uh. Okay, that guy over there isn't going to get to his... Uh, isn't gonna get to uh, to where he needs to be. Uh, see, the problem with going up in this top path is that it runs afoul of the wizard right over there. So now that we've gotten these two, let's let's hang back around and see if uh, if we can if we can uh, get him. Uh, get get the uh, the other uh, crystals first. I have a feeling this guy isn't going to let us just uh, use air magic on him to death like that's uh, that punk before. Okay, you know what? You treasure chest. That's right. Now my question is, why does the, uh... What are you doing? Why does the, the light... Uh, I mean, the, the, the water guy have, have light magic, huh? Yeah, the water, the high power water magic can do some really annoying stuff. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Is there a spawner up over here? No. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. Man, he's got, he's got that range though. Okay, so, oh, is he advancing? No, okay. It's, it's a little scared there. Uh, so we got all our stuff over here. Uh, okay, what'll happen if I ask you to join us? Just 
want to see if these these guys are going to corrupt a crystal or not. And this guy. Sometimes I just don't remember like how difficult these games were. Uh, should I go? Should I go from behind? I don't know if that's necessary or not. Or if I can just attack this guy head on. Oh god. So this didn't go well. And you got a guy... Oh, they come in from the spawner and go around? That's weird. That's weird. Do we have to... We have to put someone on that spawner? Probably. Yuck. Or at least by that crystal or something. Did somebody... Claim it treasure from somewhere. Ow, 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 ow. This is where you see how rusty I am at the game. Man. Can I break that or anything? Oh god. This is one of those games where, like, how the heck am I supposed to do this? <laughs> Maybe I do have to, to take the, uh... The other, um... The other crystal. That might break his power, I don't know. Buddy! Kill this guy. Come on. I'm panicking. Yeah, that's that spawner is definitely where those uh, the octopus things are coming out of. My my death fish here dies. I'm basically done. God, I just want to get on that stupid spawner. <laughs> Having terrible internet day to the point I'm on my cell phone using data? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Yes, we lost this. We 100% lost this one. Okay, so I'm honestly at a loss. If 
I stand on here, at the very least, I can prevent the enemies from coming back and die. <laughs> oh boy, okay. So, so that's, that's, I was gonna say, don't give up, you got it. Yeah. Okay. So, the basic strategy is get all the crystals and, uh, and not die. I probably should have, uh, gotten a different team, but I don't think it would have made a difference to have more monsters. Well, he's huge, blah, blah, blah. Also, yeah, um, can't skip cutscenes. Ugh. Okay, ow, 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 my back. I might do a shorter stream today because uh, my back is just not having, not having me in my office chair, but we'll see, okay? Depends if I can get past this fight. I don't remember if you can like train or if it's like set battles. I think you can train, but it's been so long. Anyway. Can we just purify this thing? Okay, good. So those guys are going to be doing their own little patrol. I think we can more or less ignore them. Unless they decide to come back up over here. Uh, you... I'm gonna have everyone do a tactical retreat. You are gonna go... Wait till this guy is done. See, I think even though it patrols back and forth, I don't think it can spend enough time. It's okay, we're all having an off day. Your back comes first, yeah. <laughs> I really wish I had like a solution for the back trouble. I really, really wish I did. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so it looks like it's patrolling back and forth doesn't doesn't keep it there long enough to um, re-corrupt the, uh, the crystal. Let's see. Nope. Okay. So once we get, once we get all the crystals done, uh, that'll just make it a lot easier to sap all of his uh, MP. We tried positivity. I'm positive that my back hurts. <laughs> I'm very positive. Um, let's see. Yeah, the annoying thing is that this brings us, like, too close to the guy. But, like, we definitely have to go from the back there so that we're sealing off the... ...the... the portal. Actually, you know what? You... You go up there. The rest of us... no. The rest of us are gonna fight these guys. You guys stay back over here. I can't believe that the Sage of the Water is a super good water type user. I could not have seen this coming. I know my mom started getting back problems. She went to physical therapy like every other day. Yeah, I, I desperately need physical therapy. I just can't uh, go to it until we have a determination on whether uh, I can. 
because like right now, right now my back is still in a state of, uh, of limbo. Buddy? Buddy, where are you going? We're just waiting for, for my surgeon to, uh, to give us the okay, but yeah, physical therapy is, is what I desperately need. Okay, so we're going here with, with all three guys this time. I think that'll make a difference. Oh, it is pouring. If my stream cuts out, it's because we lost power again. Like we have so many times already. Okay, we're doing a little better than we were. No, dang it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh my god, it is. I have I have not seen this many like strong rainstorms. From where we were, we were an hour south, and that's it. This summer has just been crazy. Also, yeah, there are no checkpoints in these levels. Uh, no, I want to change my team. Oh well. Uh, I wanted to see if I can go somewhere to train, that's what I wanted to do. Oh well, we'll try it, we'll give it one more try and then we'll see if there's a way to, to, to change that. I don't know, can you guys hear the rain? Yeah, it's gone crazy. Whenever he tells about right now, I always get it like three hours later. You're welcome. It's my gift to you. Can't hear it, okay. Take my word for it, it's really strong. Happy birthday. It's it's rain. My my guys over here. They're they're water type, so at the very least they're resistant to uh to the uh the boss. The boss is magic. There's no point in really killing these guys because, uh. They just come back to life. Let's just get out of here. And just go restore that crystal. Okay, now you hear it, okay. Let's get ourselves out of there. Wasting your energy, buddy. Let's get out of here. Before, before the enemies all come back. I hate that there's just this little gap over here also. That's annoying. Okay. Alright. So we spent we spent a minute and a half. Let's get this treasure. guys can go start attacking those guys up there, you can join them.
At least the easy evil death fish things stay dead. <laughs> they stay true to their name. You go up in that corner. You know what? I just remember. <laughs> I just remembered we have that magic that um, makes walls. That that'll probably help a lot. As long as we can get out of here and back over this way. Just wait till that guy turns around after kissing the gem over there. It's good to remember the things things that the game provides you as tools. just not be close enough to use it. Uh, watch the health. can't see. <laughs> I can't see anything going on. I just healed the wrong guy. Come on, okay. I'm gonna stay up over here. And we're gonna pile on this guy. Die. 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 Yay! Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. We did it. <laughs> that... <laughs> that wasn't difficult at all. <laughs> Woo! So yeah, uh, as you can see, this game has difficulty spikes. Um, and if you're not ready for them, uh, <laughs> they'll get ya. That's the re main reason why I never beat the game, is the difficulty spikes uh, later on. Unfortunately. But, uh, I don't know, I enjoyed it until then, at the very least. It's really cheap online. Like, I saw on Amazon this game is like 13 bucks used, because no one knows about it. Um, for 13 bucks, I feel like with the amount of time you, you spend in the game, you know, it's worth it. What happened? Old Master! Ah, you must be the Daughter of Wind, but what brings you here? Huh? Eh? Zhao was defeated by the Diva of the Twilight and fell under her control. Yeah, the Wand of Balance brings peace to the hearts of men and has the power to quell conflict. But using that power for evil allows the bearer to control the mind of others. Which means the other sages are probably under her control, too. I fear it is so. If she defeated them, they are most likely just as you found me. Not content to simply take our wand, she seeks to weaken the world by further by controlling us. Then what can we do? You're saying no one has the strength left to defeat the diva? Just hold on there, young mage. Hitting a problem head-on is not the only way to solve it. Sometimes you just ride the river and change its course gradually from within. In order to ultimately reach a destination, it is sometimes best to take the long way around. Do you understand what I'm saying? I think so. We gotta go rescue all the other sages, probably. Good, good, you're quick, I can tell. I'd like to take you on as my student. Sure. 
That would be fantastic. I hope I can meet your expectations. Great, I'm happy to have a new pupil after all this time. Well then, I'll start by teaching you a wonderful new technique. The ability to draw a combination of runes. It's name Duo Rune. Duo Rune? It's like Duolingo, but better, and it doesn't try to kill you. Very well. Uh, I'll set about teaching you the duo rune then. Thank you. Hold down R and draw two runes one after another. This is the key to the duo rune. It takes a lot of mana, but that can mean you can expect bigger results. Which runes? Well, there are so many combinations, even I haven't seen them all myself. For the sake of training, just copy the runes I show you for now. Uh, first fire, and then water. So yeah, this is a really, really cool mechanic. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, try it. See, so yeah, now we get that, like, spear. Well done! Wow, looks like it would shoot through any enemy. There are many dual rune combinations. Search for others and expand your magic. Very well, practice makes perfect. Like, if you do two fires, it just makes a nice fireball. So if you do like uh, water and then wind, it uh, does some fun stuff. But yeah, usually doubling, doubling a rune just makes stronger versions of whatever that spell is. Double heal is just a really good heal. But, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's fun. Move, no, you can't move closer. Uh, let's do... Ha <laughs> ha look at that. The laser. So yeah, just starting with fire and then element is a, a beam. A piercing beam of whatever. Uh, putting uh, wind and then something is like a cloud of that thing. Putting water and then something is a triple shot. Putting earth and then something is a wall of that element, which is really, really cool. Um, dark and then something is a trap specifically attuned toward that enemy and then lighten something uh, is usually just a fun way of healing uh, but let's see yeah, let's get rid of those guys I love the lasers though Anyway, it's it's actually really cool, and the, you know later in the game you learn better spells, uh, so you know that combines together also, and uh, it's it's really really fun. Um, anyway, rock lands, piercing rock shot, dark lands, laser of dark, uh, red cloud, average fire magic that dehydrates all units within the target area. Red Wall launches a wall of fire, touching all harm. Draw a line to activate. Anger Wall touches a wall of earth, touching all cause harm. Fire Warm thaws out a frozen ally and heals unit uh, some HP. Um, cures infected ally and heals HP. So yeah, we're just learning all the spells, and it keeps it in a journal for you, which is great, so you can remember what it does. Can you see like why I like this game? I have mixed feelings, but I love this game, but also it's really, really hard sometimes. But like, it's got so much potential, and I wish it got more attention that way. You got the hang of it. Using duo runes effectively will greatly increase the amount of magic you can use. I understand. Thank you very much, old master. There are many runes hidden out there in the world. Go out and find them, and you do try them in combinations with others. 
I'm afraid I'm gonna have my hands full repairing this shattered water seal. The sage with the wand of fire lives to the north at Blaze Lake. As far to the west lives the sage with the wand of earth in the gold sand dunes. Well, then we'll visit the two next. I hope they're okay. Indeed, but it's likely they too are being controlled. Come now, I'll teach you one final thing. A new water rune. Yeah, this one is something special. Only those recognized by the sage of water can learn it. I'm really bad at drawing this. It's a sideways bee. Water runes will prove useful against fire. Yep. Alright, so let's save. And... Uh, let's just take a look at our lineup. See if we have enough points to add. Nope. Uh, but we do have the life race at level 2 now. Which I'll put on so we just get a bunch more health. So the Master of the Curtain Mist taught you the Dew Rune, did he? Leonard! Leonard! Oh no, my hair! Huh? I must say, you're progressing even faster than I expected. Thanks! Using the Dew Rune only makes your magic stronger. Not only makes your magic stronger, combining certain magic will also make difficult monsters easier to catch. Give it a try, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Yep. Maybe we'll have a tutorial over here. Monsters are also aligned to type of mana, like fire or water. It's easier to capture a monster using a duo rune of the dark. Yeah, I already explained this. Red shot would be fire. First draw dark rune. One thing that this game is kind of annoying with is because you have to keep pressing the L or R button depending on your hand position. Uh, it cramp. You get cramps if you play for a long amount of time. I hate the, the little beta thing. Excuse me. Come on, grab him. No? Just gonna be like that, huh? Okay, alright, okay. Keep... keep missing. See, sometimes the, uh... The... question mark and the... Really?! That's rude. Sometimes the question mark and the the S are just one. Really? Apparently, I just can't cannot cannot draw for beans right now. Come on, really? Yeah, that's just heals. I'll just damage you slightly then. Okay. There we go. Not worth it. So these are all, this is light, this is uh, dark, earth, wind, water, and fire. So you know, each one just uh, their own fun thing. Oh, okay. 
not cooperating today. There we go. Uh, I'm trying to do it his way. I don't really need the special stuff for this, but, you know. Oh, that's a good one. That was a good hit. Give me MP. These things can't even hurt me. They're trying, but they can't. Because it's a tutorial. should be do like working better than this. It's kind of sad that it's not. Okay, I'm killing you. That's not what I wanted to do. That's not killing you. Uh. I don't want to run out of time game. Is that not doing damage? Anyway, we didn't lose we didn't lose the tutorial. Good job everybody. <laughs> yes, that was extremely sad. At least we got a lot of power up other abilities. And we got a red shog. Which, surprisingly, has a very decent amount of defense. These things are probably actually really good for uh, rain frost, okay? These things are probably actually super good for, uh, for uh, ca capturing uh, enemy spawn circles. You learn quickly, I'm impressed. Thank you. Well, well then, one more thing. I'll teach you a favorite rune of mine. The dark rune. Use this temporarily weaken your enemy. Cool. Actually, yeah. What is it? Could I ask you something? Of course. Is if it's something I can answer. Why are you helping me like this? You told me before the monsters are created by humans. Is there some big secret about this world that you know and I don't? That my young friend is two questions. I just wanted to draw out your potential. I'm just interested in you, and fascinated by you too. I'm not keeping any big secrets, but I suppose I may I have studied monsters more than any other mage. I see. I'm sorry for asking, I just thought that maybe you might know something about my father. I'm not sure why, I just felt like you might. Isaac, your father is alive, he's waiting for you to grow strong. What? So you do know him? And he's gone. I knew it, he does know my father. Hydration break. Okay. Uh, we'll go. We'll go for a little bit more. I have. I have a uh, a little bit left in, in me. One or two more uh, story plot things, maybe. So there's a specific enemy that I wanted to that I wanted to get, but I don't think I don't think I can uh, at this juncture. So sometimes what you want to do with these stages is just send like one of your one of your guys out. <clears throat> uh, oh god! So we lost already. 
<laughs> so send your guys out and try to like do something. Um, but uh, as you can see there, uh, I didn't keep in mind the enemies advancing from the bottom of the screen. So we're gonna try that again. <laughs> this time, we'll kill those guys first. So I think the other the other enemies are just uh, going around there, running about, advancing behavior. I just want the uh, the earth wall to be hitting these enemies because I yeah I'm pretty sure they're wind type. And catch one because these wolves are actually really good. And as soon as we kill those, more of these, more of these appear. Uh oh. Okay, they hit the guys through the wall. What garbage is that? <laughs> I ask you, what kind of garbage is that when you can just hit through the impenetrable wall? I call it hacks. Come on. Oh, I'm not getting any MP because my, uh, I don't have any of the crystals. Wow. How am I doing this badly? I mean, also the villagers were just getting themselves murdered, which, you know, is a problem in and of itself. So let's all enjoy a happy, a happy life over here. Maybe proactively go attack these guys. Oh, and the villagers follow me. That's a, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Everybody over here, over here, over here. Oh my god. You guys want to follow me, but then you don't want to follow me. <sighs> they gotta, they gotta, you know what? We'll just go to the left area then. Sure. those guys are just gonna rush us first we may as well attack them first and just try to reclaim guys guys come here stay away from the wolves in the wall you idiots
No. <sighs> it looked like he had it. Yeah. The main problem is that uh, drawing the double runes takes takes time. I don't necessarily have to do it the second time around. But I don't know if it negates the, the first. The problem is these villagers, their 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 AI doesn't doesn't make sense. Like they kind of follow you, but they don't really follow you. Let's give you a heal. Not that one. Also, they're getting attacked through the wall, which isn't good. up there. Sometimes, sometimes you just have to capture multiple enemies. Okay. So, can heal up a little bit. That guy's in the middle wondering where the heck his friends went because he didn't join, he didn't join them. The weakening thing was prob probably would have been a good, uh, good idea. Everybody back. Everybody back. Okay. All right. Was not prepared for that. Let's let the wall kill them, or not. How did that happen when I was drawing things? <laughs> this game, this game, it can either go super well or terribly. Uh. Once I can add a second team, like a bunch of teammates, uh, that'll change things a lot. So the Gale Hound is also a really, really good uh, monster to have in your team. Uh, just because its stats are fantastic. Also, Curse, yeah. Rain Rock. <sighs> anyway. Isaac, I've been waiting for you. Hey there, where is everybody? The road is finally finished. They were all celebrating last night. They might have overdone it, though, because they're all still asleep. I see. So they finally did it. They never gave up, never quit. Quite an example your father has set for you. This means we can travel to other villagers, villages again. Until I become a mage like you, I'll be able to travel the... Uh, once I become a mage like you, I'll be able to travel the world. That's right. If you don't give up, if you hold on to hope no matter what, one day you'll be able to make that journey. Well then, time to get going. Thank your father for me, okay? Uh, but I think I'm actually going to stop uh, over here so that I can rest and have some dinner and things. Um, but yeah, so this was Lost Magic. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be making it a continuing stream series. I just kind of wanted to um, show, it off, show off a game that I haven't played in a very long time that, uh, you know, I don't think many people have seen. Uh, but yeah, 
Do we have a raid message? Maybe. Uh. What raid message be? Looks like a cool game. Yeah, it's you know it's it's a little frustrating and it's a little rough in some places, but uh, it has it has a charm, and as you get better at the game, uh, it's. I don't know it it's it's got it's got some really fun spells and combinations and things. Um, what's our what's our raid message? What's our raid message? Uh, raid message. Raid message. Hmm. I don't have a good raid message. Thinking of just doing hashtag generic raid message. That's my that's my usual go-to. Hashtag I couldn't think of a raid message. Blanking on one. Yeah. Uh let's just do Hashtag this is a raid message because I am clever and witty. Uh, but we're gonna raid. We're gonna give a raid over to Masay who is doing Pokemon Snap. Um, yeah, Pokemon Snap is fun. I've actually started playing it again now that um, my brother finished it. Uh, he did all the requests and everything. So yeah, uh, go show Masay some love. You know what? If we're raiding, no. I was gonna say if we're raiding Masay, it should be Todd themed. But I'm not. I'm not gonna be annoying. I'm not gonna be annoying. So I'm to say something like, "No one knows what this game is," but that may be mean to the game. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Thank you all very much for stopping by. I really appreciate all each and every one of you. Uh, I hope you all have a good evening, and uh, yeah, stay awesome. Bye, everybody. Bye. Cute, 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 cute. Ooh, yes. Work that camera. Work that camera. Several what is your four has just raided. Hello! Welcome Dolby, welcome Raider. Thank you very, very much for that. Aw, oh, yes. Work it. Work it.